You've seen it, it looks amazing, but you don't quite understand how it's used. In this video, I'll be showing and explaining to you how to do the elusive guard point on the longsword in Generations Ultimate and the conditions for it to happen. Firstly, what is guard point? The answer to that is for weapons that have the ability to shield, such as the sword and shield and the great sword, holding the R button will put up the shield to guard against the monster. However, for weapons such as the longsword, that is usually not possible, as all it does is start a spirit combo. Well, there is a way to use the same R button to do a counter which is also widely known amongst players as the guard point. This brings us to the next question. What does the guard point do? Aside from countering the monster attack, it also does three things. It unleashes a powerful attack, it sharpens your weapon by a tiny bit, and most importantly, you become invulnerable for a brief time frame. This is also known as iframes. Now that you know what guard point does, here are the requirements to use it. Guard point conditions. There are three conditions you will need to achieve before you can use the guard point mode. First condition is you need to be using Valor hunting style. To do that, you simply need to change this at the equipment box shown right here. The Hunter Arts doesn't matter as this will not affect your ability to use Guard Point. Second condition is your Valor Bar needs to be red color. What this means is you will need to fill this bar that's just above your name until it fills up and turns red, meaning being in the Valor state. When you are not in Valor state, you will not be able to do any form of Guard Point. If you're first starting out, it could feel a little slow in filling the Valor Bar, but there are two ways to speed up the process. The first way, and my favourite way, is to do the Valor Sheaf draw attack as often as possible. Hold Y to start the Valor Sheaf, and immediately hit X after to do the draw attack. Here is a comparison video of how much faster the Valor Bar fills up when you use the Sheaf draw attack. The second way is to hit as many monsters at the same time when you use the sheath draw attack. The monster size doesn't matter, but if you can hit several small monsters in that one hit, the Valor Bar also fills up much faster. And here is another comparison video as an example. condition is your spirit bar shown under your health and stamina also needs to have a blue border and have some red inside the bar. Now you don't need to worry about the blue border as it will only activate when the valor bar is active. It is the red filling that you need to be concerned about. If you're already in valor mode but the spirit bar is empty, trying to use guard point is impossible as the R button is for spirit attacks and you need to have some red inside the bar to be able to execute any kind of spirit attack. Once you have fulfilled all three conditions, it is time to learn how to guard point. How to do guard point To use the guard point, you will need to hit the R button just before the monster attack hits you. You know that you've succeeded when you see a white flash and hear a sharpened sound at that same time. Here is a quick demonstration. As the window to successfully execute the guard point is very small, 
you need to know exactly when the attacks will land to know when to hit that R button. Meaning you need to know the monster's attack patterns very well to be able to achieve it. Having said that, you can still practice the guard points timing by fighting monsters that have the same repeat attack patterns, such as our personal favorite, the Ball Drone. Ideally, you'll want to equip the best armor possible with the worst longsword you own, and bring no cats, so you don't need to heal as often, your practice monster doesn't die as quickly, and your monster will only focus on charging towards you. For a more detailed tutorial on how to use the Valor Longsword, I highly recommend checking out Slayer Jaeger's video, as it outlines the basics and movesets you can do with the Valor style longsword. And another hunter to look into will be Kanta Prumi. His longsword fight with the Glavinus is a wonderful example of using the guard point with confidence. Go check them out in the description box below for links to their videos. And finally, if you're looking to learn some different weapon plays in Generations Ultimate, I'll have a playlist for you at the end of the video. Anyway, thank you all for watching, happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.